the natural gas drilling issue is known to most people these days as fracking. That's a term that you hear all the time. And that's shorthand for hydraulic fracturing. And what that is is one of the two technologies that are used to produce natural gas from these unconventional sources like a shale. What it involves is blasting large amounts of water mixed with chemicals and sand at extremely high pressure and really blasting the rock apart and that allows the gas to flow out. So it sounds violent, it is violent, and it is environmentally intensive. For people who are concerned, they look at what's happened in Pennsylvania or in other parts of the country where people's drinking water wells have become contaminated, where they can literally light the water coming out of their faucets on fire. Um, and where even when those kinds of dramatic things don't happen, they, uh, they see that their communities, which were rural or agricultural in quality, have become industrial zones. It's why we and so many folks are concerned that it not be allowed to go forward here until we're assured that we understand the risks and how those risks can be managed. We were able to convince the governor to direct his Department of Environmental Conservation to do an environmental review process looking at the risks associated with fracking before they started any new permitting. And that provides a tremendous opportunity. In other states, the permitting has gone forward and then they start seeing what goes wrong. Contaminated well water supplies, um, spills of fluids, air quality issues, fish kills. We still have a lot of work to do to make sure that the state uh, fulfills the promise of doing a proper environmental assessment before drills break ground, but you know we're committed to making sure that they do that.